The Invasion of Poland, 1939. Uh, it happened on September 1st, 1939, when Hitler sent troops to invade Poland. He had planned to invade Poland a while ago, while at that time he, Poland had gar a guarantee from France and British forces that if it was attacked, they will send reinforcements, which brought French and the British into the war. Then, on September 3rd, France and United Kingdom declared war on Germany. And within two weeks of the battle, the western uh, regions of Poland was conquered by the Nazis, and the last uh, Polish troops surrendered on October 6th on the Battle of Kock. How the invasion started. The invasion started in the early hours of September 1st, when a German battleship visiting the Polish port of Danzig open fire. Although the planned assault was on the port of Danzig was at 4 a.m. on the 26th August. Uh, why Hitler wanted to invade Poland. Hitler wanted to invade po Poland uh, due to, re uh, to regain lost territory and to ultimately rule the neighboring east, uh, east of Germany and wanted to make Germany a national honor and reverse the overpopulation which kept on growing every year in Germany. So uh, when you when you talk about the lost land, are you referencing to the land that they lost as a result of uh, World War uh, One? Yes. Okay. Uh, Hitler wanted to take back Poland because during World War one, the Allies forced them to separate Germany from Poland due to the Treaty uh, Treaty of Versailles, turning them into two different countries. And Hitler didn't like that idea, so he declared to invade Poland using force to take back the country. Uh, the Glewitz incident. The Glewitz incident was a false flag attack on a German radio station, making it look like it was attacked by Poles and was used as an excuse so that Germany could invade and send troops to Poland. Uh, Fall Weiss, or Case White. Uh, Fall Weiss was the plan to invade Poland from three directions, uh, through Prussia and northeastern Germany, a main attack on the western border of Poland and through the south from the border of the puppet state of Slovakia. Two armies from the north and south were ordered to encircle the Polish troops and to meet near Warsaw. For this invasion, the Germans used two-thirds of their panzer units, which is almost all the panzer units in Germany, and more than 2,000 planes, leaving the rest of its units near the western border in case of a French attack. Uh, Plan West. The Polish defense, also known as Plan West, West anticipated the protection of the entire border, border of Germany and Slovakia. Because this region was the industrial heart of Poland, which was a mistake since the Polish troops couldn't make quick maneuvers of the German panzer troops, leading them to become surrounded by the German troops. Why the Polish lost on the border of borders of Poland. The French and the British pressured Poland not to send troops, fearing it would start another war and they believed it could it would only provoke Hitler and give him a reason to violate peace on the European continent. Because of this, the Polish didn't gather all their troops when the Germans attacked Poland on September the 1st, 1939. Since the Germans knew British and French soldiers would join the battle, so they planned to finish the invasion quickly, so that the French and British won't have time to mobilize. They lost due to the quick maneuvers of German panzer units, also known as the Blitzkrieg strategy. The first days of the invasion. The first days saw intense German attacks from both land and air. The, Lu the Luftwaffe gained air superiority immediately, even though the Polish pilots put up a brave resistance. Attacks made by Ber German panzer troops that the Polish were forced to retreat to their defensive positions. Uh, France declares war on Germany. On September 3rd, France and the United Kingdom declared war on Germany in response to the invasion of Poland, but without any true support. Uh, how, did Russia, Ger how did Germany and Russia split territory? 
The Germans teamed up with the Soviets to invade Poland and promised splitting up the territory, giving Russia the east and Germany taking the west. On September the 17th, Russia invaded Poland from the west uh, after the invasion. The invasion only lasted 35 days, and in 35 days, there was a casualty of 66,000 dead and 694,000 captured. However, there was still resistance from Polish troops that went into hiding after the invasion of Poland. And that's all.